Season 5, Episode 10. That's on Allude. The loophole. Okay. Music's concerning. How full do you think that thing is? I doubt she reads it. <laughs> Never mind. People say your school days are the best years of your life. That's like a guy stuck in a sausage grinder. No, 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 no. Nobody says that. Nobody says your school days are the best days of your life. Because we're just generalizing school in general. No. Now, if you want to say high school or college, maybe. If you are genuinely going to tell me that middle school is supposed to be some of the best years of your life, you are just lying to yourself and everyone else. Which, they are in middle school, by the way. I'm just saying. Nobody. Nobody. You might think you're the... You might think you're awesome in middle school. That's great. Good for you, I guess. Don't get ahead of yourself. But trust me, in 10 years, when you look back on it, you're going to be cringing at yourself. Machine, what are you talking about? Sometimes I wish I could just go straight to the end of the process. What, like Owen Full Sausage? No, I'm just being an adult already. Yeah, but then you have to get a job and file your taxes and pay your taxes and understand taxes. Taxes no, are I mean, terrible. I just want to skip the whole hassle of life. What, what would you do if someone asked you to give them a hand? <laughs> okay. Robert's really dangerous. He's a potential killing machine. We should set him some rules. Potential killing machine. We've had two dedicated episodes to him being a killing machine. What what are you talking about? I mean, think of the danger he I guess those were all pre season three though, so that was before we had that more or less soft reboot at the end of season two, the the finale. <laughs> To hurt anyone. To hurt oh, come on, man. That's still part of his body. No part of my body was raised during the oh, process. raised. I see. You're not allowed to raise or lower your body to hurt anyone. Nope, it's still. He's just gonna be. Able... Now try to hurt Do it. Please just... Yep, saw that one. Ow. He hit him back in time. Wait it out. He's trying to get rid of his tooth. <laughs> what did you do? Did you poison him? I am emitting concentrated radioactive waves. No, it it won't, man. If we're ever if superpowers were to ever be a thing, it would probably most likely be like X Men, where like some people get some cool powers, but most mutants have like the most heinous, horrific powers that you would just never want to have. You know what I mean? Like someone would probably get the power to emit radioactive waves, but them being themselves are not immune to them, so anytime they use their power, they just die. Like you know what I mean? Like. It's pretty much the, like, if powers were to ever be a real thing, that's probably what it would end up being, let's be real here. Or, like, you can turn, you can emit flames or turn yourself into a flaming person like the Human Torch, but you're not immune to fire, so you just burn yourself alive. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Can never hurt anyone in any way. Oh yeah. Gosh, I'm like... <laughs> okay, no rules. Just save him. Why on earth would you choose such an undignified method? I didn't even think that would be a method. I mean, it worked. Okay. How about you just uphold the law? It was created by our most brilliant minds. So what could go wrong? There's so many things wrong with the law. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are they in New Mexico? 
Is Elmore in New Mexico? All right, well, freak. There we go. Also, yeah, another thing with laws. Obviously, there's a lot of laws that are, like, stupid. But there's so many, like, outdated laws. Like, what, what was one? I forgot what state it was in. But it's, like, oh, what, what was the law? I don't know. It's, like, women can't go do something without their husband's permission or something like that. I don't know. There's just, like, so many, like, laws that haven't been, like, taken down because they haven't been in effect for, like, so many years, but they still technically exist, and they're, like, super outdated. I don't know. It's just... It reminded me of that. According to the law in New Jersey, it is illegal to slurp your soup. Yeah, like, there's super specific weird laws. Oh. Also, he just said in New Jersey. Wait, hold on. Wait, Bobbert's not making any... Bobbert's contradicting himself. Because I just assumed he said with the thing with the hair in New Mexico that Elmore was in New Mexico. But now he's saying you can't slurp your soup in New Jersey and he's trying to eliminate this guy. They're not in New Jersey. They're still in Elmore. So that would only apply in New Jersey. Therefore, he wouldn't have to inflict any harm on this guy for breaking that law because he's not breaking the law because he's not in New Jersey. Which also means they're probably not in New Mexico either. I, th I think Elmore is assumed to be in, like, California or something, but I, I can't remember exactly. So, actually, he's contradicting himself. It is the most rational solution. Yeah. No, all life must be protected, including yours. That's it! Bobber, new brand directed. Protect life at all costs. How's this one going to backfire? Protect all life at all costs. At any cost or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think, but I, I don't know how they're going to implement this. Command followed. All life on Earth should be preserved. Are we also going to... I was about to say, like, single-celled organisms and stuff, too. Are we going to protect those? That is, that is that is really stupid. Humans. Well, I, I guess you can't really say mankind. No, nobody here is human, but I, I get the point. The dominant species on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I guess we'll have to settle this the new fashioned way. The new fashioned way. That's weird. No network. Oh man, we can't argue on Twitter. Oh, what a shame. Oh, the economy is. This is pretty much exactly what would happen. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. As soon as the economy fails, we're people are going gonna go crazy. Let's be real here. Call the Potatoes. Do you think the police care anymore? Oh my gosh. Holy dude. Saves the world? You know what this reminds me of? This is like what um Ultron. This is kind of what Ultron's like whole shtick was, right? Like see like to save the planet, his whole directive, prime directive was to at least in his eyes, uh get rid of all of humanity to uh save the planet which isn't exactly a wrong theory it's kind of right but i mean obviously we don't want to go extinct but that's just what it reminds me of i don't know
you don't just want to go stop him. Yeah. Fighting by zero. Nope, oh, there you go. Every time Bobbert is used in an episode, he is abused. They just abuse him they, for his power or, you know, whatever he offers. Like, every time, he's always the antagonist or just being used. Like, I feel so bad for him. But also, Gumball's just a terrible person. This is a really good episode. Uh, solid, very solid episode. Uh, another Bobbert being evil episode. We get these a lot, actually. It's kind of crazy. But I like all the logistics they actually added to it, because he takes everything literally and everything. Um, yeah. I like the... <laughs> I love the part when he started leaking radiation. Like, it, it, they get so creative with the, um... The ways in how to use him because they can use him in so many ways and then like him upholding the law and like all the weird laws and then wanting to destroy all of mankind freaking skynet over here yeah this was it's just another good bobbert episode I, I don't think we'll ever have a bobbert episode where he's actually a good guy like if the episode's focused on him. He's usually the antagonist. I wouldn't say he's the bad guy, but he's the antagonist. And it's not because he willingly becomes the antagonist. It's because Gumball does some stupid thing to make him the antagonist. Like, every time. It happens literally every time. Um, But it's so funny. I love it every time. So I don't know. Th this was an incredibly good episode. I, I really like this. It's funny. It was entertaining. It's just... Uh, gotta love Bobbert. I just feel so bad for him, though. Gumball's just the worst. Alright, well, I'll see you in the next episode.